All right. If anybody can guess what cartoon this Christmas tree came from, gets 10 points. I'll give you guys a uh, clue. Oh, oh, the battery's dead. Battery's dead, no clue for you guys. All right, you guys, welcome back to the vlog. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas to everybody out there right now. There's a change in plans. Uh, some stuff hasn't come in. Well, I was gonna do a uh, install for a much needed uh, device in every modded car, which is a fire extinguisher. Um, I was gonna just zip tie it down, but I don't think that's gonna fly, you guys. So I will find a bracket that looks good and performs well too. And I think I know which one I want. Uh, it just hasn't come in or just I haven't got around to even ordering it, you guys. So once it comes in, I'll be doing that. But uh, let's get right into this vlog and let's do this giveaway, you guys. Isn't this crate just awesome? Like, look at this. Whoever is gonna get this is gonna be super, super happy. But anyway, so the only one person that guessed it out of like millions of you guys, no, I'm just kidding. There's, there's, not, there's only one person that guessed it right. Uh, so the answer to my question was, where do I travel often in the States and who's my one main sponsor? Uh, a lot of you guys guessed uh, Seattle, but no, Seattle's not it. Vancouver, but Vancouver is not in the States. It's a uh, Canadian. Main place I travel quite often would be Las Vegas, you guys. Uh, I go there quite often every year. Possibly quite, twice for sure, possibly three, even four times, depends on the year. And the main sponsor, you know a lot of you guys guessed Lumar, but it's not Lumar. That's the shop thing that has nothing to do with my channel, uh, even though I do a lot of stuff with them. But the main sponsor is Envision Auto Imports down on the south side in Edmonton here, you guys. I will leave the link in below. Without them, they do a lot of stuff for me and make things happen. And uh, so the person, one person that guessed it right is Lorenzo, you guys. So congratulations, Lorenzo. Uh, the awesome crate will be sent out to you shortly. And by the way, thank you to everyone that actually entered and put a comment below and entered the uh, contest. Uh, yeah, thank you again, you guys. Look at that, eh? So nice. All right, you guys, so let's get into this vlog. So I wanted to mount, now that I got a road cage, I was gonna mount a fire extinguisher in my car. Or whoever modifies their car, especially the fuel system, or just in general, if you're gonna mod your vehicle, you need, it's not a want, you need a fire extinguisher. It looks, it looks nice, it looks race car and uh, yeah, you picked the right one, you guys. Uh, I think the right one is a dry chemical. Um, I think that's what, it's not a grease one. Grease ones are not for your car. I believe it's a dry chemical fire extinguisher is what you need. If I'm wrong, correct me if I'm wrong, you guys leave a comment below, let me know uh, if that's, and just let me know which one is the right one for the car. Uh, so that, that way I have the right one in my car too. So, with that said, now that I got a row cage in here, I've always wanted to mount one of these. So I was thinking somewhere that it's going to be accessible and it's going to look this pretty, you can't put it on the harness bar, so that's not going to work. So possibly right here. I was going to be thinking of being in cheap and I was going to put like, um, strap it down with like tie straps, right? So that way, if you get into an emergency, you just yank it and it just cracks open. But I'm like, I don't know how that's gonna go. I don't even wanna attempt it. Uh, I, I don't think it's gonna look, it won't look nice at all either. Um, there's another fire extinguisher that I really, really wanted, but it was like $800 US, you guys. It's like, uh, it's a Supreme fire extinguisher and it's like 800 US. I'm like, that's just ridiculous. Imagine when, if you needed it for an emergency and then you don't want to use that fire extinguisher because it's just too expensive. Imagine that, eh? Just, oh. <laughs> and you're, you have a fire, you have an emergency or somebody has an emergency and you don't want to use it. You don't want to be that guy not using your fire extinguisher. So just go get a cheap one. It's like 20 bucks, 30 bucks. And this is a smaller size one. This is really all you need. I'll tell you guys, you, investing in a fire extinguisher is like relatively cheap compared to the amount of mods or money that you spent and 
not just money, the time too, the amount of time that you put into these cars, your car would be toasted. Um, yeah, it just, you need one of these guys. Uh, just go out and get yourself one, whether it's just, if you can't, if you're in the situation where I'm right now where you don't have the right clamp or haven't found the, mo the most good looking or best performing clamp yet, just get one and just, I would just tie it in there, just strap it in there for now. Because you, you just never know, and if that fire starts, it just basically, your car is toast. And it could be the smallest, slightest, slight, like the slightest small fire, but it could be costly. And uh, like some of you guys, you know, if the wife finds out that's even a worse fire up your ass than you want, her coming and screaming at you with the amount of money that you spent on this car without her knowing, I don't think you want to afford or could afford that fire, yeah, you guys. So yeah, just go and get one of these. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it for this vlog. That gives you a little bit more insight on what I personally think uh, you guys need in the car, and it's just a fire extinguisher. Uh, even if you're doing light mods or just major mods, that's one thing that you need, or even a fellow car enthusiast might need that, and you could save his car or her car from disaster. I'm looking forward to the new year you guys I have a major awesome trip come coming up it's planned and it's it's a go and uh, hit the subscribe button you guys and follow along you guys are great it's just gonna be awesome. Um, other than that I have one more thing that's going to go into the trunk here. In the last few years I've gone to car shows and there's a few times that we've been really thirsty and looking for drinks and I thought it'd be awesome to incorporate into the to the GTR here and a new project car coming up. I think it's going to be pretty sick. So follow along uh, for that. So I hope you guys are, are enjoying your festive new year. And uh, happy holidays, you guys. And we'll see you guys in the new year. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. See ya.